So a company called Ultra Human Kindly sent me their latest model called the Ring Air. Initially, I thought it was one of those typical smart rings that comes with the very common functions that we are already aware of. But it turns out this is packed with so many new technologies that I cannot ignore. So I'm really excited to try out how it works. So the way how you start your journey with them is once you place an order, they will kindly send you the Air Ring Sizing Kit. So you make sure which size of ring fits perfectly for your index finger and then what you do is download the app and let them know what size it is so that's all done and dusted and hence a raw titanium model has been delivered to me today so I'm really excited to find out how it looks inside and also the function wise as well indeed so enough said let's get on with it shall we so here it goes let's tear this open here it goes so that's how it looks like Wow, look at that. That's just beautiful. We got a nice letter. Hello, Cyborg. Warranty user manual kind of things. Get wired. So this is the USB-C cable and a charging dock. The ring itself, it's raw titanium finish, but it's very light indeed. So that's a very good sign. And here's the logo there. And I don't know whether you guys can see all these sensors. It's just brilliant. Look at that all compact in this tiny device and it fits quite well with my index finger and it kind of goes along with the color scheme and fashion i'm after as well so you can see the charging dog is in pink color so all you need to do is place it there and it turns into white which means i presume it's charging now press connect ring allow the app to be used at the same time so please put your ring on the charger so it's actually popped up here. So I just need to press that. That thing is all good to go, isn't it? Pretty simple. And you just allow for the pair. So this is the main page of the actual app. There is no data to show because I haven't actually tried out the ring yet because it's charging. So the quick start is the uh, breath work and also workout individual markers. We've got the cardio fitness uh, skin temperature. That's quite cool. We got HRV, resting heart rate, zero to nine smart goals. So the goals are sleep early, uh, wake up early, uh, sleep duration, phase advanced activity steps, active hours, uh, workout minutes, also active minutes as well. You can actually add the timeline. Uh, so no events for today, again, because I haven't tried out yet. The ring battery level is 25%, unfortunately, so I need to charge it. And you can actually refer to your friend as well. On the top right hand corner, it shows you what ring battery, the design and ring airplane mode as well. You can set it, save my location, locate my ring, the model and the firmware version, hardware version, Mac address, serial number and etc. to reset. And then if we go back, the metabolism, we got the get the ultra human M1 live or a biosensor start now. All these things. This is cool, isn't it? Visualize your metabolic fitness in real time with metabolic score. Measure the impact of different foods on your health with food scores well that's quite cool isn't it these things are becoming more and more clever every day isn't it get personalized nudges and insights to improve your metabolic fitness join the cyborg army world's fast growing community and on the zone you can actually create a zone share your score to your friends add your friends also discovery as well you can go to meditate workout sleep and also education, all these useful video clips indeed. So it's like a new social media page, isn't it? So if you actually click on the breath work, you got NSDR, deep breathing, box breathing, and all these four, seven, eight breathing. Wow. I'm not familiar with all these technical terms, by the way, but it seems to have yoga and also like Chinese ancient breathing technique as well. That's very cool. And if you actually click on the workout, we've got the outdoor walking, outdoor running, indoor walking, and cycling as well. Cross training, badminton, football, cricket, basketball, hiking. Whoa, look at that. Pilots, yoga, squash, table tennis, 
and tennis indeed. So if you click on the HRV, it'll actually tell you that you have to wear your ring for at least an hour to get an accurate measurement, which does make a lot of sense. Same goes to the resting heart rate as well. So now if you look on the log my first event, if you click on it, you can choose sort of what sort of type, for example, work out if you want to continue that indeed so these are the lists that we've gone through early on all these sports activity work out and then you can actually choose activity customize it in a different way with the same list that i presume it is and then if you click on the food you can also add the item of what sort of food what it does like protein fat carbs fiber and all those sort of records purpose and so on also the sleep so you can select the time when you go to sleep and when you end your sleep as well and then weight you can actually choose kilogram pounds in stone of how much you weight and register it and so on and lastly others is purely just for any customized sort of events that you want to add on the profile page you can actually link up all your data to other apps such as uh, garmin or fitbit or my fitness pal and training peaks and etc if we go back you can also chat with the specialist as well if you need so finally the ring battery is about 100 percent so i think it took about a minute to charge a percentage of the battery so it's all good to go and it's slightly warmed up but this is supposed to last for about four to six days of use so let's get on with it shall we so after trying out the ring you can see the display has changed a bit it actually says the movement index it needs three hours of data uh, the stress rhythm at 1 to 2 a.m. Heart rate is 74 BPM. Uh, cardio fitness is not showing. The skin temperature is now 33.19 degrees. Okay, so we're going to try the deep breathing. The session starts at 3, 2, 1. So you can see the actual BPM rates and also HR zone balance and also the 25 MS and also the skin temperature as well. So after the whole session, it actually gives you a medal saying great session. The lowest BPM was 77. It starts at 94 and ends at 92. It shows you a bit of a graph as well and the time, HRV level and that's really cool, isn't it? Even the temperature as well. All right, since it's one o'clock in the morning, I need to actually go to sleep to provide some information on the sleep index. So let's get on with it. I shall see you guys later. So it's seven o'clock in the morning. I just woke up about 10, 20 minutes ago. So the sleep score is 56. So to click on that, it shows four hours and nine minutes of total sleep. Now if I were to click on that one, it shows that I'm 53 comparing to 83 of the community average and uh, with an image of short articles that I need to go through. And the last one actually says, avoid consuming caffeine and alcohol within six hours of bedtime. So it's trying to really read me. Um, the restorative sleep also 46%, 72 comparing to 78. So that needs a bit of attention. HR drop. Um, also, if I were to click on that, that's terribly low comparing to the community average, which also needs improvement as well. Now, if I were to scroll down on the sleep index contributor, the efficiency is low. And if I were to click on that again with images and um, articles to read, temperature, restfulness is pretty good. HR drop and total sleep it needs attention and so on so it's not bad because i actually gone to sleep about half past one uh, this morning um, but i could definitely go early and now it shows the bed in time graph this is one of my favorite sort of result it actually shows when uh, i have a deep sleep for example it was between half past three to four ten this morning uh, tosses and turns during sleep 10 times my wife actually complains i do a lot of these the heart rate 67 hrv zone 22 an average of 31.35.1 temperature as well 
now if i were to go out and the sleep depth is one hours and 51 minutes again it's just all the summary of this this is really in depth isn't it dynamic recovery is 65 not sure whether that's a good thing or bad thing well it seems to show a green other than the sleep index so i need to sleep more that's how i interpret it and sleep hrv trend is get better or not sure what that means anyway there's a lot of details that i need to revise on movement i need to unlock this by having more than 500 steps now the stress rhythm seems i'm very stressed at some point or is it relaxed actually it says 73 percent of relax during the sleep that is definitely shows i need to sleep more and all the uh, graph in the bottom as well now if we were to scroll down my um, bpm is slightly high because i'm trying to put all this information in this video reading through all this first thing in the morning not good temperature deviation again if i were to click on it i think that seems to be in a good order that's great hrv of 22 resting hr of 67 and um yeah the ring battery seems to be not sure because it was 100 percent uh this morning woke up 87 so not sure if that's going to last for about six to uh four days and so on but yeah that's pretty detailed for a sleep report so well done for that so to be able to unlock the movement i should have been awake more than an hour ago or take up to 500 steps so what i'm going to do is why not carry out a outdoor walking low intensity and see how it goes so if i were to click on that and press start it's going to basically show me the countdown with average bpm levels and total distance and average pace as well that's really cool isn't it so let's carry out this exercise and see you soon all right so actually walking around the neighborhood and I guess that's the good thing about these sort of gadgets, isn't it? It motivates you to carry out exercise. So I feel really good about it. So just so you know, this is the score so far. 10 minutes of outdoor walking, 106 BPM. And also the total distance travel and average pace as well. So I would say that's pretty much achieved the 500 steps that we're after. So anyhow, let's just head back and see what the actual statistics says. Right, so this is the outdoor walking summary. So I just walked just over a kilometers with an average heart rate of 106 and maximum of 123. 63 kilocalories that I actually burn, showing you the map. So one, two, three, four, five, and also the progress of burning my calories and heart rate as well. So that's quite detailed indeed. Now we have unlocked the movement. So if I were to click on that, it actually shows you that I took um, 1,599 steps so far and the goal is 11,000. The activity as well, showing you the progress that had gone up and then straight down because I came back to my office and also the total calories that I burned as well. So I'm really impressed with the level of detail that has been presented to me through the app, especially on the sleep score, advising me to avoid alcohol or caffeine for at least six hours before I go to sleep. It was very interesting to find out I had that deep sleep moment and briefly waking up. I definitely do not remember that happened by the way. Now, I had about 10 turns when I was sleeping. It must have really annoyed my wife, so I better apologize and buy her a nice coffee later on. In regards to the heart rates and also the temperature, it's really assuring to know that I'm in a good reading because I was slightly concerned lately because I felt a bit cold. Now, I felt more energetic and also positive, looking forward to carry out my daily routine because I carried out that 15 minute walk motivated by this smart ring and i guess that's the whole point of wearing these wearable device is that it motivates you to become a better healthier positive person now there's one thing that i'm slightly concerned about which is the battery level i remember i charged it up to 100 percent around 12 o'clock this morning it's around nine o'clock and it's already down to 80 percent so i'm not sure whether this is supposed to last up to four to six days maybe it actually carry out the initial deep reading hence that's why it quickly drained but we shall see how things go 
But I hope this video actually explains how cool this ultra human ring air is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.